What's up, YouTube? Now, we're going to basically be doing BT11 plus the new Beelzemon starter deck, because I think this deck is really cool. I am not super in-depth on this build, so I kind of just threw this together as an example and kind of a rough draft. It's like I said at the beginning of my first video, the Dark Knightmon. These are going to basically be my rough drafts of things that, like, would I play it in person? Sure. It's going to be something fun to play. Do I think it's going to top a regionals or do insanely well as my build? No, I do not. It is just an outline of things that I think sh people should look at and go, I think I could change that. So I think I could take a few things out of this, put it my way, and I think I could do real well. So we're going to start this, and this is basically playing BT11 plus the new starter deck for Beelzemon. So we're going to play four Yamon. If this Digimon has Wizard or Demon Lord, trash top two cards of your deck. Then four of the Imp on BT2 on deletion, trashing top three. Four of the, the basic Gabumon always, this card is so good in almost any purple deck you can physically play it in. Then we are going to be playing four of the EX2 Impmon. When this card is trashed from your deck, except from its own effect, you can trash up to three cards from the top of your deck. Um... On play, you reveal the top four, add a Digimon with Beelzemon in its name, and one Ion Mako among them to your hand, place the remaining on the bottom. Cards are really good searcher. Then we're playing two of the new Impmon from the starter. If you have 20 more cards in your hand in your trash when you attack, you can Evo it into a Beelzemon um, that is not in Beelzemon in its name. It's Beelzemon specific. Um, I think they're trying to make sure that, that you can't go into X antibody or blast mode which i understand um from your trash for a digivolution cost of three ignoring its digivolution requirements keep that in mind that beelzemon is from your trash which is actually really good because you're trashing a ton in this deck then we've got four of the eyesmon obviously with how much we're trashing we want a ton of stuff in the trash in this deck four of the new witchmon when you digivolve trash top three cards of the deck then it has a source of giving plus 2k uh during your turn for wizard or demon lord Two of the BT-10 Balmon. Um, when you attack, you can trash up to three uh, from top of deck. On deletion, if you have ten or more cards, you can play a Beelzemon from your trash without paying its memory cost. This is really, really good because of some of the cards we played that we're deleting our own stuff. Um, then we've got the new Balmon. We're playing four of it. I think is really good because when Digivolving, you trash top three. Then when Digivolving, it gains on deletion. If there are ten or more, you can pay play one Beelzemon from trash without paying. Then it also has the plus 2k source, just like the Witchmon. Then we're playing three of the EX2 Beelzemon. Um, when it's trash from your deck, you can play an Impmon from trash without paying its memory, um, which is really good, again, because then this is trashed. Play the Impmon, trashing more thing or searching more things, giving more DP things. Like, this is really good. Then when you Evo or attack, you can trash top two cards of the deck, then delete one of your opponents level three or lower. And for every tra card in your 10 cards in your trash, add one to the maximum level. That's really, really good to know um, because, like, then you're just deleting, at, like, level 5s that tell 20 cards, which 20 cards in your discard or even 30 cards in discard for a deck like this is really not that hard to get to. Then we're playing four of the new Beelzemon. When you Digivolve, you trash the top four cards of your deck. Um, all turns, you when a card is trashed from your deck, you gain a memory for every 10 cards you trash, which, again, is really, really good. And then, during your turn only, uh, when a card is trashed from your deck, you get to gain a security. So, then he's checking to, at, like, 2k, 2k, 3k, I mean, you're at, if you've got these three right here, that's, I mean, 3, 5, 7k, so 19k checking to is really good. Then you got two of the Beelzemon Blast Mode from EX2. Personally, I think this one is a little bit better than the one from the starter deck. Um, I think the one from the starter deck is really good. I just think this one's a little more solid. When it's Especially because like when it's trash in the deck, delete one of your opponents level 4 or lower. Then when you Digivolve, you delete all your opponents Digimon with the highest level. And for every 10 cards in your trash, he gains security attack plus one. Meaning, uh, like I said here, you can get to 20 or 30 cards really easy. And then he's got like security attack plus three. Yeah, it's kind of cracked. Uh, one Calling from Darkness, again, forcing the deletion here. Playing at Beelzemon for free is really good, or, I mean, technically one cost. Um, four of the new Rivals Barrage. When it's trash from your deck, you can place it in the battle area, um, and it'll get deleting one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost, and then the turn after, you can return a purple Digimon or a Tamer from your trash to your hand. This is really, really good. 
Then two Deathclaw, again, more on deletion things. If, th if this wasn't limited, we'd be playing three of this card because this card's cracked. Um, there's a reason they limited this card. Um, but we're going to play two more of this just to help our getting this deleted and playing Beelzemon for free. Um, four of the EX2 Ion Mako because it's your memory setter and um, you can suspend it and trash the car top card of your deck. Then if it's Beelzemon, you can Evo it into a blast mode on that attack. Um, and then we've got the, we are playing two of the new Ion Mako from the deck. Um, when it's on play, reveal top four, add a Digimon with evil, wizard, demon lord, uh, to your hand, place on bottom. Then when one of your Digimon Digivolves into a purple by suspending it, you can return one card from your hand to the top of your deck and gain a memory. So a lot of recursion, a lot of really good stuff in this deck, guys. I think this is going to be something that's really fun. And then going into BT12, where we're actually going to get Impmon level X, we're also going to get, um, Beelzemon X, uh, is where I think a deck like this can start actually playing um, cool boys. Uh, like, the deck is going to be really good. I've seen a lot of what the deck can do coming up here. Uh, it was very competitive in Japan, and it was pushing out a lot of really good numbers, like, competitively. So, again... Uh, I don't super in-depth know this deck. I really just put it together on the fly because I think Beelzemon is a really cool Digimon. I've been a fan of it for years. Uh, my buddy Austin, it, Impmon and Beelzemon are literally his favorite two Digimon. Um, and it, Austin's one of my best buddies, so I had to put this together for him. Um, and I know that he's going to be building a max rarity version of Beelzemon at BT12. So hopefully I will get that profiled for you guys, and I'll show that off for you. So that is everything. If you guys aren't subbed yet, please make sure we're subbing. Uh, I want to see our community grow as big as we physically can here on the channel. Um, and I will catch you guys later. Peace, guys.